Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I uh, do, want to do a nib size comparison uh, today of three uh, entry level pens uh, that was suggested to me. I've done nib comparisons of Pilot pens and Lamy pens and also the Twisby pens uh, within the line, uh, but thought it'd be interesting to do a comparison of three medium nibs across the three pens just so we can get a sense of uh, what the size is. Now, on top of that, what I want to do is I want to show two other nibs, just uh, out of interest sake. One on the pen that I consider to be one of my favorite entry level uh, pens, which is the Faber-Castell Loom. And then a nib that's on a pen, uh, it's not so much the pen as the nib, it's a Yovo nib. Now Yovo medium nibs are uh, becoming, Yovo nibs are on pens across multiple brands. I'm gonna be showing the one that's on the Diplomat Aero. Obviously Diplomat tune their own nibs slightly differently to how Yovo pump them out, but, uh, it'll give still an, uh, an idea of the nib size. So what I've got here is a piece of um, Rhodia grid paper. Uh, so this is the five millimeter grid. So just to give a sense of how wide these lines are. And uh, what we'll do is we'll start here with the Pilot Metropolitan. Now this, is, as I said, has the medium nib on it. It's a fairly sort of standard uh, Pilot medium. Uh, and the ink in this is Pilot Black in a cartridge. I have uh, cartridges in all of these except for the ego, of course, which uh, is inked with another black ink, which escapes me off the top of my head, but I will remember by the time I get to it. So here we have the So it's a typical sort of standard sort of round nib. Um, they are ever so slightly, ever, ever so slightly stubby. Uh, but as you can see, they're not really much, um, but ever so slight. They are relatively wet nibs, uh, particularly for uh, sort of, yeah, uh, Asian pens. Now that is the medium, as I said, so uh, it's, It'd be interesting to see how this compares across the other brands. Now we have uh, Lamy Safari here with the standard medium uh, Lamy nib that came on this particular pen. So what we might do actually is just do some little uh, cross hatches here, one after the other. Um, as so, yeah, typical sort of Lamy nib, very nice and smooth, um, wet enough. Um, not a gusher of a pen, of course, but Lamy's never really are. Next, we have the Twisby Eco here, which, as I said, has, um, obviously can't use a cartridge, but the ink in this is Parker Quink Black. So this one is a little wetter than the others, um, but is actually probably finer uh, than uh, the others as well, ever so slightly. Um, but yeah, it is a nice sort of quite wet and very smooth pen. Now these also use nibs by Yovo, but they are, um, they're not, they're more proprietary nib that is just manufactured by no Yovo, uh, as opposed to things like the one that we put in the Aero here, which is sort of a more standard, uh, well, number six nib in that case. So here is the next pen um, that I was going to, the Faber-Castell Loom. Uh, and this is one of my favorite pens. And this is the pen I suggest to people when they are looking for an entry level pen, uh, if this sort of grip isn't an issue for them. And of course, if the design is um, to their liking as well, it is a unique design, uh, but is a pen that I think writes better than almost any uh, of these. Uh, 
and this is a medium. They all are mediums. Um, this is a broader medium than the others. Um, and yes, it is incredibly smooth. I can't sort of say, it, this pen is generally fairly wet. This just has a standard international black cartridge. Uh, I'm, I think it's a Monteverde one, but I can't really be sure. Um, so the quality, the properties of the ink are of course going to change, as you can see there's a different sort of, not all blacks are made equal. Um, but what you can see is of course the, the line width of the nibs. And then last we have the Diplomat Aero, which has the standard Yovo medium nib. Now, Yovo are making their nibs for a number of different um, pen brands these days. Lots of brands um, use them. Uh, obviously I said Twisby, but a lot of the brands like Franklin Christoph and Edison uh, even the Goulet nibs are Yovo nibs. So this this is what you will get across a broad range um, of pens. I believe the uh, the new Estabrook SD standard nib is a Yovo nib. Um, and one thing I'm going to start, I, I'm getting more and more interested in nibs that aren't Yovo nibs. Um, while these nibs are beautiful and they're very well tuned um, and smooth and nice and sort of nice and wet, uh, it's not. It's sort of more. Um, you don't get a variation in writing, whereas, you know, using a, a Pilot nib or a Faber-Castell nib, um, you know, you do get a little bit more sort of variation across uh, the, the pens. Uh, so you, they feel different, whereas Yovo nibs always sort of have a similar feeling and a similar writing experience. So these are those five nibs. Now, they're all mediums. As you can see, the medium line does differ. The Pilot Metropolitan and the Lamy and the Lamy aren't too different. The Twisby's are a little finer. The Diplomat is actually the finest of all those mediums. Um, and the Faber-Castell is the broadest. Now, Faber-Castell nibs are quite broad. The broad is very broad. Um, but you can see that they all, this is the, the five medium nibs. If you are interested in um, these, you know, hopefully this is a bit of a guide as to just what you can expect. If you're familiar with one of them and would like to get another uh, from a different brand that happens to be on this list, uh, then you'll have a decent idea as to what that nib is going to be like on the page. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. And if there's any way you think you can support this channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.